In our last lesson, we tried to understand that the Aleph in the middle, something else is hidden behind Aleph. And how do we find it? We go to Mudharia and we, that thing will come out. Huh? If the verb has wow or ya, yeah, what did I say? If the verb has wow or ya, yeah, whether fa kalima, ain kalima, alam kalima, we say that that verb is vavi. What will you say? That is verb is vavi. And if it is ya, what will you say? Ya, it's easy, brother. It's not difficult. So, kala is ajwaf. What is kala? Is ajwaf. You know, it's hollow. The weakness is in the middle. What would you call it? Kala ajwaf wavi. Are you with me? Ajwaf wavi. Why do you say wavi? Because there's a wow there. And when we say ba ya bi u, ajwaf ya. So try to, huh? because then when we do other things, we will always be saying wavi and yeah, yeah, it's simple, more interesting. Now, kana, what is in the middle word? Is how do you know? <laughs> because yakun, kana, yakun. So it is wami. Is it correct? Fine. Kana. What was originally? No, kava. Kavana is the root. Huh? Kaf, wa, nun is the root. But yak, vunu. What was the original? Yak, vunu. Nasara, yan, sun. So yak, vunu. Yak, vunu changed into yakun. Huh? Yakun. We are not going in detail how it changed. Yakun is good enough for us. You know, we can, we can go forward with yakun. Well, and sisters, what happens when the ajwaf is uh, ajwaf is vab nasara? What will happen? Kaina, kaina, kanu, huh? Kaina, kaina ta, kunna. Why did you say kun? You say ku, not ki. Never say ka. It will either be ku or he, depending. Huh? So, kunna. Are you with me? Then, kunna, kunta, kuntuma, kuntum, kunti, kuntuma, kuntumna, kuntu, kunna. Are you with me? Easy, brother. Easy. Alhamdulillah. Yakunu, yakunani, yakununa, takunu, takunani, yakunna, mashal, mashal, yakunna. Again, takunu, takunani, Takununa, takunina, takunani, takunna. Akunu, nakun. Tell me, is it difficult, brother? No, it's not difficult. And it's fun. It's joy to do all these conjugations, you know. Alhamdulillah. Very common verb. It comes in the Quran all the time. So if I say to you, brothers and sisters, takunu. How do I make Amr? Oh, how did you do that? Because you cross this, huh? and then you put a sukun there. We already have a sukun, so this cannot be. So we are now doing surgery here. Huh? Huh? We are doing surgery here, and what is the result? Kun, just like kul. Okay. Now I want to do a little more. It is coming in the next lesson, but I would like to do because you are very sharp. Now, for singular, it's kun. How about dual? Kunna. But brother, in kunna, the vow will count. You just cannot say kuna. It has to be kuna. Uh, and then what will be the next one? Kuna. All these things are in the Quran. Yeah? 
and then Kuni, Kuni. Huh? Plus one of the lies saying to the fire, it is Kuni Bardhan. Huh? Right, brother and sister. So remember, it's only in the singular, it's Kuni. But then the vow is coming, and it will be same in the Kul. Huh? Why the vow is coming? Because the verb is Taku Nani. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? The verb is Taku Nani. How do I make it Amar? Wow. So it remains Kun. But many, many students make a mistake and write down this. Now, there's a wall there. Huh? Are you with me? Okay, you will keep that in mind, Echa. Kuna. Kun, fellow Amberin, Mabniunala, Sukum. Kuna, fellow Amberin, Mabniunala, Ardefeno. Keep that in mind. You know it. Huh? You know it. Okay. So we can easily conjugate, brothers and sisters. Now, kana is a lachis verb, as we have been studying. Huh? This is not the first time it's coming across. We have already studied. Huh? Kala means he was. Is the meaning complete? No. He was. Is the meaning complete? No. What was he? We need something else to complete the sense. So that something else, brother and sister, uh, we bring the predicate, we bring the khabar. Huh? So kana is a fiel, but it is nakis. Means it is incomplete. Nakis means incomplete. Huh? Okay. And if it is incomplete, then it won't have fine. This is very important to remember. Kana or any other verb which is nakis, hmm? it will not have file. It will not have file, but it will have a sub and khamar. Khamar. Whether this is very important lesson and very interesting lesson. And it comes to the Quran on every page in every ayah. You know, file. Now, brothers and sisters, if it has a khabar, then what do, you, what do we know about khabar? It can be mufrad, it can be shibu jumla, or it can be jumla. Are you with me? So these things that we have studied in the past, we will keep it in front when we talk about khan, huh? inshallah. So brothers and sisters, this is what you have to understand. And there are a couple of very important things I will tell you about Kana. Okay. One of that thing is, brothers and sisters, Kana means she was. Huh? But when you use Kana for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, huh? when in Quran, Kana is mentioned for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it does not mean he was. It means he was, he is, he will be. So when it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters, Kana express eternal truth. Write down this. Kana expresses eternal truth. Hold So eternal truth in reference to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When, when we say kana tawwaban, he was most forgiving, huh? he is and he will be. Huh? In that case, it, was, it is not was, huh? always. Okay, brothers and sisters, I will write down two sentences regarding the Eternal truth. Okay. I will write down two sentences.
Are you with me? Kanal insanu ajulan. He was, he is, he will always be. <laughs> so this is the meaning of eternal truth. Kanalau gafuran rahiman. He was, he is, he will be. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Keep that in mind. Huh? Because otherwise, you will always be wondering, Kana means was. Was Allah before and he is no longer? No, he, 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 is, he is there till the end of the time. Huh? Yeah. Haste, hasty. We want everything quickly, brother. Huh? Haste, Ajulan. These are the verses from Quran. 